Samuel Phillips. Samuel T. Phillips, two. Moving around quite a bit, returning home is a moment of peace in the, vi in the village beyond searching for answers, discovering a variation of beauty, where we find a more devastatingly common observation in understanding the roots of suffering in our communities. Cultivating rest and communion is stifled by the failure of the council and the world's leaders incapable of raising a hand in favor of protecting the human effort to nurture liberty, justice, the well-being of the people, envisioning peace for children of the setting and rising sun and moon. Commitment to a ceasefire resolution from a multitude of cities in, a con in concert with the results of the majority of U.S. citizens who would rather avoid another fragmented child pulled from the rubble or a tank megled light stripped from the world by terror would spark an, an astounding movement in the nation reaching for tranquility. As residents of the planet, it is our duty to strive for what excellence, love, and understanding could achieve if ever allowed to thrive. What risk do you have to take in passing the allegiance, this allegiance to dissolve death and misery, pledging to nurture humanity in the city of Covington's alignment with peace by desperately urging for a ceasefire and standing in solidarity with the people of Gaza? Your legs, your arms, your bodies, your entire family, your beating hearts, the silent direction the council has chosen in leading the people falls short of the city's values as global residents. In this, we question the council's principles. We question your motivations for our city and its people. And we question the council's moral compass as appointed heralds of liberation. We require a fearless council who encourages defiance against powers that ail our becoming unified in the face of the survival of broken systems. We need a council who passes resolutions rejecting genocide rather than capitulate under the pressures and odious demands aimed to obstruct the unity of our city. A council who resists the function of this government's fear-mongering, one who empowers Covington to stand against horrors trained to eat the human heart. Witness the fearlessness of this room. We are not here because we are unafraid. We are here because this is what true courage demands of those who have managed to preserve humanity and who are afraid of losing it completely. Witness what our brothers and sisters have sacrificed in the 75-year-old genesis of this globally recognized brutality that is us speaking here today, hoisted on the shoulders of our rebellious ancestry. Bear witness of what has been taken with supreme force for speaking loud who have revolted against the impact of tyranny, our country must atone, create space to repair, and cater reconciliation. Mr. Phillips, your time has expired. Well, thank you. We'll pass this resolution, free Palestine, all the way, Covington. Thank you for listening.